Dude Man Review. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dude Man Review, where we review all your favorite memes about specifically Dude Man, because everybody is non-stop talking about him, and I can't catch a break. Before we begin, be sure to like and subscribe, and let's just get right into it. First Dude. If you thought Dude Man couldn't get any weirder or scarier, you are wrong. The insolence is Darman. I have but one thing to leave you with. Stay out of my business. Wait, what does Darman say? So you see, stay out of my business. If you continue to follow your current path, you will regret it. Wow, thank you, Darman. That's strangely motivational and threatening. That is a cursed image, though, with that gorgeous face of Darman slapped on top. Another Book 2, Chapter 10 meme. Piggy Book 2, Chapter 10, summarized in four images. Hey, do you get it? Are you getting it? Ha <laughs> ha! Purple guy? What? That was a really, really good chapter, though. Like, it was pure adventure. Just what Piggy is known for. Going around to these brand new maps being chased by some demonic entity and trying to get to the exit door. Exactly like Indiana Jones. That's actually a very, very good uh, summarization. But you know what's not a good summarization? Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. The end of Piggy. We're only two chapters away from the end. Unless Minitoon pulls some Ouija Wooji sparkly finger magic and says, ha ha, it was a trick. There will actually be 30 more chapters and five book novel series and two entire movies, which I wouldn't put past him. Like a, in a movie about Piggy would be absolutely insane. But without all that, all we have left is really two chapters. And I'm actually kind of concerned I'm still about the story because because that's only two chapters to go from, oh, we don't know if a cure really exists. They said something about something in the outpost. We don't know anything about it to, oh, uh, we got to resolve this entire thing in two chapters. I was thinking the entirety of book two would be hunting the cure rather than just trying to escape from Willow. Piggy theories about what is happening inside an infected's mind. What's actually happening? <laughs> that's a meta meme. I like that one. I actually like that that one a lot. It actually took me like 10 seconds to figure it out because I'm an actual peanut brain, but it, it's a meta joke about, oh, Piggy's a game, right? So it's code behind their brains. And maybe you could technically say the same even if it wasn't a game. Like, you could be saying that our brains are just coded functions by nature. Hmm. Don't you see? You're immune to the infection. People who played infection mode. Well, that was a lie. I like to think infection mode is just like an alternate universe out there where you do in fact lose. But imagine how annoyed they'd be to realize they were meant to be immune to the infection. But no, that because they got to join Cool Greg 44's game and he loves piggy infection mode. You got to be in that universe. Every single time you pick piggy infection mode, that means you're creating another alternate reality where the player ends up getting infected. So I hope you're happy with my yourself, frankly. RTX off versus RTX on. Piggy IRL? This is why I'm telling you, you guys would be running and screaming for your lives if Piggy was real. You wouldn't do this cool thing where like, oh, you put on your bandana, load your gun and go running after those piggies. Because if they look like that, you are going to wet your pants at the first sign of a pickle. <laughs> Another infection mode one. Point of view, you were the last player in infection mode. Hmm. We smell human meat. God, I love infection mode though. It's so fun when you're the last person and you're just running around the map screaming. And it's even better when the piggies are just bumbling clowns, like bashing into each other and falling down because you feel so good being able to dodge them left and right like Neo from the Matrix. When the player got attacked by Piggy, the player's DNA. I said we know not infected today. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one based on the latest chapter. Whoa, Minitoon really hit us with a whoochoo! The sneaky plot twist around the corner, the little curveball there. Like, dang. I mean, I guess it was pretty obvious in hindsight, but it could have been anything. It, it, we could have been knocked out and then like Zenitsu from Demon Slayer, we go sicko mode and we start doing crazy backflips and chopping up Piggy and that's how he woke up in the house uninfected. You never know with these sort of things. Maybe Dude Man could have helped us out. Maybe he's a really good guy. Oh, this is a rough one. When you nearly finish a hard piggy chapter. 
but the timer runs out. You know, I faced this literally at, while I was filming for the latest chapter. I wanted to get the savior ending because all of you was screaming at me to do it. And so I went on to Piggy Factory by myself, my own VIP server, and I was like, dude, I'm a Piggy Pro, right? I got this, baby. But I underestimated the freaking factory and it, it lives up to its name. It is a freaking factory with how big it is. I was running from left to right to left to right around the stupid factory. It's like they, they mini tune put the items in the worst possible spots around the factory. He like puts the ladder in the furthest corner away from where you're meant to put the ladder. And I was so close to escaping. It got down to 10 seconds. I was at the exit door. I'd given the wooden sword to Pony, the last one to go and bonk Willow. And guess what? Guess what? Pony, the like the absolute peanut brain he is, the little pea brain, he goes the long way around. And since Willow is chasing me and Pony's chasing Willow, Willow isn't stopping. Pony can't catch up. And so the timer ran freaking out because Pony and his little dumb legs couldn't catch up to Willow or couldn't find a shorter path. And I wasted 10 minutes of my time. I was so tilted that it took me like four more matches to finally escape because I kept dying to Willow. I'm sorry. I really just had to get that off my chest. That, that was a low point for me in Piggy. Whew, I'm glad none of you had to see that. This is where I'd put my true ending badge if I had it. Ha ha ha. Take the L if you don't have the true ending badge. You don't have the Mr. P, Mr. Plump skin. Oh no. I do feel for you though. It is extremely, if not impossible to get in a public server nowadays. When everyone was going for it back as soon as it came out, it was pretty easy. Like even, well, to be fair, even then it was a bit difficult, but it was much more easier than it was now because nobody, and I mean nobody, picks the city chapter and 50-50 they pick the plan, but if they're never going to pick plan after city, they, if they ever pick city. Me after getting a blueprint and realizing it's not the ability I was looking for. No! I don't want the team gauge energy refill ability. No. Imagine being useful for the team. No. I want the camouflage one. The only good one there. Well, besides the sprint. Uh, I, I feel this meme so much. I swear, every game of Piggy I've played, I've collected a freaking blueprint, but I haven't unlocked any of them. Like, well, I've unlocked a magnifying glass, but that's the easiest to unlock. I want my freaking invis abilities, and I've played Piggy for like at least four. 40 rounds since the blueprints came. Like, come on, geez, is it really that difficult? <laughs> what? Dakota? What is Dakota doing in Luca? Is that is that what the movie's called? It, it had some real weird name. I hope they got the rights from Minitoon or Minitoon's about to be suing because that thing didn't exist before Piggy. That is 100% Dakota. It's the obvious reason why the little green fish guy is, is so scared. He looks like a cool Greg 44 or maybe a, a Max Sam Big Pants 56. Someone who likes to pay their Robux for the swagger. I can guarantee you he plays Piggy and he plays it good. This is Mr. P after playing Fortnite. <laughs> He actually has 10 kills on the board. My goodness. Surely this wasn't from an actual game. That That is 10 kills. You realize a server size is what, six and that only five of them can be survivors? That means you've killed two servers worth in one game. That is huge. I, I think I've gotten up to eight before because they leave and rejoin. But dang, I would call that an official wipeout of Tomato Town. Congratulations. And the only one who could do that is Mr. P. Always use the Mr. P skin. Mr. Plump. Looking in the noob's head. Oh, I know what's feeling what is Peppa Pig!
What did we just watch? I gotta say though, it, it, it's that song at the end again. I love that so much. It's such a weird and strangely like melodic song, but dang. Hey, it's not just because the uh, the thick pig family is dancing in there. Whoo boy, that, that does add to it, but it's purely, the, mainly the song at least. Oh boy. Look at that daddy pig swagger at the back. <laughs> Piggy fun fact. In the station map, there is a toolbox next to the door. The toolbox could have a hammer and a wrench, which are needed to open the door. But in the game, we can't open the toolbox. Yeah, why would Minitoon put that there? If not to tease us, that is cruel of you, Minitoon. And actually kind of dumb of us as well. Ah, yes, they're the giant red metal box that is there in case of emergencies. Hmm, what could it have? Surely it doesn't have anything good. Let me go find the hammer that's probably laying like in the showers or something at the police station. You're going to sleep? Yes. Now shut up. Temple is rated easier than carnival. What? No, 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 no. Where did you get these official ratings, huh? Did you get them from like a PC Gamer News article? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Does Piggy have ratings for the map difficulty? I've forgotten because I remember in suggestion review, I swear I've done like a couple of suggestions where they suggested Piggy have like an easy, medium, difficult rating. Um, But now, now I don't know if it's actually and Piggy, I've forgotten. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think it is. Yeah, so where, where, where do you get the easier rating? Did you do a poll on Twitter for like five friends and they all voted, oh, Temple is easier than Carnival. <laughs> because nothing is easier than Carnival. Even breathing is easier than playing Carnival. I actively think about myself breathing and exhaling because Carnival is so easy that my brain can just put it on autopilot. Oh, he got it from the badges. Carnival is rated 3.2%, whereas Temple is rated 5% in badges. So that means like more players have the Temple badge than the Carnival badge. We got to do some investigating. Wait, 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 wait. I think this guy's been going a bit crazy. Carnival is rated 4% insane, which by the way, shame on the Roblox players who haven't completed the Carnival badge for making the Carnival badge look hard to get. So that's a 4% rating, but then Temple, is 1.6, so less people have completed Temple than have completed Carnival, which makes sense. Uh, I don't know what this meme is getting at. I don't know where you got your statistics. This meme's apparently based on a funny build mode map this guy found. I'm Mr. P. I died. <laughs> what? You, Mr. P? Uh, how, how did you still manage to write that then? You mad lad. Maybe it's like the teacher's note in the infection chalkboard. Or maybe the person that made this map doesn't really understand death yet. They don't really understand that when you die, you can't actually write anymore. All you can do is talk. So I don't know what they're getting at. Uh, it's obviously like a, a just a six-year-old who made the map. And that's the magic of build mode. You get to see all the beautiful, like the, the imagination of uh, the people who probably should have their imagination removed. Willow kidnaps Zizzy. Pony, leave her alone. Willow, want to say that again, coward boy. Yeah, Pony goes awfully quiet after Willow starts threatening him. Yeah, he'll speak up when Zizzy's in danger only as long as he's safe, as long as Pony can't get smacked with any retaliation. Pony reminds me of Jerry from Rick and Morty, if you've seen this show. He is a massive fat Jerry. Oh, no, uh, you, you can take Willow. Oh, I, I don't like having a gun pointed at me. Ooh, I mean, Zizzy, you, you can take Zizzy. Pony doesn't have a thing for Willow, unless shippers. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching today's Piggy Meme Review. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. And what is your favorite Super Mario game? Let me know down below. I will catch you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye.